Yeah. And that again just creates the illusion of the chair. So we can see, so as we open up, our craft room looks a little bit more realistic. The next thing to do is start dressing the desk. And again, you've got a load of ancillaries. So I'm just going to pop on with my glue gun. Oh, let's have at a slightly jaunty angle my cutting mat and we've got a little computer so we can put that on all I've done with the computer is just glue that bottom part whoops and that can just rest I think back against the wall somewhere here like so so we've got a little crafting laptop on there and there's little objects on there. It's up to you to put on what you want. You can also add your own from bits and pieces. Let's have oh, a mobile phone just sticking there. And we've also got some 3D elements. I've got my uh, scissors here. And they just stack up against the back with these tiny tabs. So what you will have to do is decide where you want that to go, which I'm going to rest it there, and just mark with a pencil the line for it to sit on again because we don't quite know what you're going to use or where you might use it that's why you've got to mark it and near enough is good enough I've got a small tab here so again I can rest that down using this sort of techniques we've used throughout just straighten that up, squeeze that on there, and that will just press against the back there, like so. And then if I just push this all in, it will find its own way. Just rub that. And we've got a mini pop-out, if I can just show you there, with the scissors, like so. And it's the same technique. Now, we've got printers and all sorts of bits and pieces on here. Um, it, it really is up to you. Now, with the cat, I've just measured up He's got a tab on there, I've measured up the width of that tab, stick it down onto the back there, lay it down the cap flat, stick that on there, have that lying flat there so we've got one piece without glue and one with, and then you can just push that up like so, and just give that a little bit of a squeeze, and that will actually catch and we can see it lifting there now. That could do a little bit more stick, but you can you see the principle of it. Of course, we can just pop it down and rub it like so. So we're just using those um, little pop-out tabs techniques just to pull everything up. If I just show you there, we can see. Whoops, we can see our cat sitting on the chair there. And here is our finished craft room. I've dressed it up with the, the computer and other little bits and pieces, and put pop-ups for the. Uh, printer, uh, pencils, scissors and a plant and really just sort of spruce it up and of course you could put personalize it even further and add things on the message board etc. Now um, this is just I think quite an utterly amazing card and uh, it's I'm holding it at an angle so you can see it to the camera here. Um, it doesn't really quite do it justice, but you'll notice now if I just hold it like this, obviously we'll have our cover there and then we can just open it up and out will pop this craft room like so um, and I think you'll find it it's not too difficult to make again I've used the little tabs here in paper but you could probably use but you could use acetate for the pull-ups if you wanted to that I think can look quite nice so that they don't really show too much and um, yet my only point on this that I'd like to mention is that the filing cabinet now sometimes that works brilliantly and other times it doesn't and I, I can't quite fathom out if I just pull it there it begins to pull out it's a a bit of a pioneering technique that um, if you don't want if you want to try it or even just put one and just have a little play around on a piece of paper first and see if not just simply cut that side panel out it's not the end of the end of the world if you don't want it there and if you put it on and it isn't working too well you can simply just snip down that line with your craft knife and just tuck those two bits away and they'll be out out of harm's way now so um i said that occasionally that that can work really well and other times it catches but that's my only little reservation on all of this but i've put it on there for you because you know you can decide what it is that you want on there but that aside <laughs> I think this is an absolutely incredible card to give to someone you know who perhaps likes their crafting. Um, and what a wonderful gift. And this really must be the most stunning card as you open it up to get a complete room popping out. Um, 
it, I just think it's it's a lovely, lovely card to make, and it was a superb one to receive. Because I don't think anyone, when folded up from this, is going to be expecting something as amazing as this to come leaping out at them. Okay, I hope you have fun making this. Just follow the instructions. Um, if you've made some of the other ones earlier on with the tabs, you'll get to know how to sort of this all works. And by the time you come to here, you'll be an absolute expert. There really is nothing particularly difficult. It's only slightly tricky putting it together because it's all in 3D, sticking things down and then folding. But I've shown you the techniques to do, and it all works quite well anyway. Okay, have fun with this card. <laughs>